Council with Council Bidwell? Chair. Sure. Council Carney. Present. Council Labar. Present. And we know Councilor O'Donnell is not able to be here today. So there being no public comment here. Um, and the department presentation being postponed. Folks got the explanation for that, okay? Yes. Okay. Um, we talked about postponing to the January meeting, but um, now I understand we're gonna have some sort of presentation at the city council anyway on December 15th. For the information technology. Um, yes. So, would it make sense to so soon after that have another presentation here at this uh, committee? Or are we thinking you might right have at City Council? Service? You mean for all the new ones? No, I'm not talking about the appointments. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the information technology presentation that was going to happen today. Uh -huh. But we postponed it because of the. Um, the uh, order, yeah. the administrative order that the mayor um, is putting to, to reorganize, reorganize the information technology department, restructure with the school department. Mm -hmm. So um, he's going to present on that to the whole city council. If you remember the mayor said that. So does it make sense for us to have another meeting with that same department, you know, so soon after we have the city council meeting? With them. Um, just think there's a certain logic to not doing that because we'll, I don't know, we'll have a chance to ask any questions right in, full, in, in full council. Yeah. So I don't think we need him. In. So um, I don't know what our schedule was, Pam, after that. We don't have anything really lined up. Nothing. Should we just like start from the beginning of the rotation and? Um, And then just, uh, I think because we have mm -hmm. 11 appointments, we should look at our meeting in January of concentrating on them and clearing them so that they can get sworn in. We could do that. Yep. That's actually why I have this hand out here. Did I give you yeah, one spoke here too? We can jot on these and pick uh, folks. But what we might do today is actually first deal with the ones that we had referred to us that folks um, it's too bad we couldn't do all these right at city council. Right. <laughs> well, it take a while actually tracking folks down. It does. So, <clears throat> we do have the ones that um, we could deal with these first. Well, the question is for the ones that Councillor O'Donnell that would be. Natasha Yakovlev and Rosen Quinn. Mm -hmm. Did he make email? And we didn't get a message. So um, these two will okay. we'll have to decide uh, whether to. If we don't make a recommendation back to the city council, um, I think the city council can deal with them at that point if we pull them out of order. Or if not, look at her application, like Rosie Quinn. That tells you a lot, and we could. Oh, we have we have those here. Oh, yes. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your option could be to send it back with no recommendation. And, and pull them out of order at the city council meeting, and then, and allow then, Councilor O'Donnell to make any remarks then. There you go. And then we can we can vote then. So it, that's what we should probably do with I, the, that, would, that, that would make sense to me. Yeah. yeah. So, since, we, since he's presumably done or will do his kind of Well, he said he was emailing something, so it just got lost in the shuffle. Okay. But we can deal with it then. It seems yeah. like that sounds like we So why don't we take up, if you don't mind, Councilor LaBarge, First, the uh, agricultural. I mean, we might as well just discuss these and take them as a group. Just um, as a point of order, do we want to quickly uh, approve our minutes from the last meeting? Oh, thanks. Is that a motion? Yes. Well, I, I, of course, now that I think about it, I wasn't at the meeting, so. Oh, 
<laughs> I think you can still. Oh, that's right. We discussed. We, we explored right. that, didn't we? Yes, he can still vote. Okay. Right. Then, then sure, I'll make the motion. Second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Then um, we'll just take these one. Actually, if we take them one at a time, mm -hmm. then we can deal with the exactly. ones from Councillor O'Donnell mm -hmm. as a no recommendation. Okay. I guess that's the way to yeah. vote. Okay. So, Councillor LeBarge? Yeah, Stanley Zawala. Um, their farm is on Sylvester Road, and um, Stanley Sawalik is very interested in being reappointed back onto the Agricultural Commission. His family has been involved in farming from generation to generation in Ward 6. They do maple sugaring and they sell it. They also raise beef cattle and sell the meat. Stanley enjoys working with the farmers throughout the city on the commission, and farmers are spread out through many wards. He also mentioned how he is happy that the city is taking care of the brush in the meadows and it will help to farm on the land. So he is he really enjoys being on the Agricultural Commission. Okay. Uh, do you want to offer that as a positive recommendation? Uh, yes, I would like to offer it as a positive I'll recommendation. That. And second, all those in favor of Stanley Zawillick as a positive recommendation to the council? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. So that will move forward. Um, and also Jill Sinker. Um, first of all, she wanted to apologize to me because I think I called her three times, and you're correct, Councilor. They're very difficult to get a hold of people. Anyways, and she is saying why she wants to be on the Arts Council. She's lived in this community for almost 30 years. She's worked in the arts and her career at Smith College Theater Department, being a board member of the Center of the Arts in the early 90s and volunteering at first night for Sundays in February and other events over the years. She's saying now that she's retired, she would like to keep up involvement and interest. If there is a new and fresh infusion of people with interesting ideas, more public art, the Book Arts Fair, and Florence Night Out being examples. She is very interested in implementing some of these events and ideas with whatever expertise she can offer. She is also interested in learning more about the grant process and encouraging new events as well as the legwork of distributing flyers, considering proposals, being on hand at events, and help to keep this community informed of the various art events that are offered. And so she is telling us that she would really appreciate our consideration of her appointment. And I make a recommendation of a positive recommendation to approve her okay. to City Council. And Moved and seconded to send a positive recommendation for Jill St. Kerr. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? None. So that will move to the full council. And I spoke with Jessica Pika, who's an applicant for the Conservation Commission. Um, she's uh, actually a water resources engineer for a firm, Milone and McBroom, firm down in, based out of Cheshire, Connecticut, but she's in Springfield. Mm -hmm. And they do all sorts of environmental planning. Um, for customers, so she has a lot of experience on that cust on that uh, applicant end for looking for permitting and those sorts of things. So she'll add that perspective to working on the Conservation Commission. I was very excited. I thanked her for her interest, and um, I would ask if would you like to move a positive recommendation? Okay, it's moved and seconded. And seconded to send. Jessica Pico with a positive recommendation to the full council. And if someone would like to move a neutral recommendation for Natasha. Sure. Move a neutral recommendation for Natasha and the council. 
with Ed and Ed has been on the authority on the redevelopment authority for a long time and he has been chairman half of his time on the redevelopment authority and Ed would like to be reappointed and be able to at least serve for a couple or more years okay we did receive forgot to mention that we received a memo from the mayor about the redevelopment authority and how mm -hmm. um, it was a formed in the 70s around the industrial park and since all that was built out it hasn't really had much uh, opportunity or need to meet. Mm -hmm. So some of those members really fell off. He wanted, he found that there were occasions now with the uh, uh, Damon Road redevelopment and some of that that was uh, cause for that organization to pull back together. And so these are some of the names. Um, also was Patrick Goggins who is actually a known entity to all of us. Um, so I uh, did not speak directly to Mr. Goggins, but as noted, he has been for the city of Northampton on the Charter Commission, the Board of Public Works, the Housing Partnership, also the Chamber of Commerce, the Char Charity, I'm sorry, County Commission, and was the city councilor for at least three terms or so, yes. wasn't he? Yes. Or at large. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, ask for a, a recommendation. I make a motion for a positive recommendation to full city council. Okay. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. All those in favor for Mr. Goggins? Aye. 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 And can, can we just Aye. like for just a Aye. second? Aye. Sure. Um, we didn't get a recommendation for Mr. Skrosky. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I would recommend a positive 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 okay, moved and seconded for Mr. Skrosky to go positive recommendation for the redevelopment authority. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um, that moves forward. And Christopher Kaling? Yeah, um, Christopher Kaling, um, he's very interested in serving on the redevelopment authority and hopes of giving a little of his time back to the North Avenue community which he loved and lived in for most of his life. He believes his years of running multiple businesses and raising a family in Northampton will help him bring some valuable insight to the committee, and he looks forward to the prospect of contributing to matters brought before him. Very good. And is that a motion? Yes, I would like to um, make a motion to recommend a positive recommendation to full city council. Okay, I'll second that. and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And uh, Mr. Kaley moves forward. And Rosen Quinn was uh, one that we're hoping to hear from Councilor O'Donnell later. So if you recommend want a neutral. Moved no to recommendation. neutral recommendation. Yes. And second. a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. And so um, I guess we don't, I, I don't have this specifically on the agenda, but I was hoping we'll pick at this point the appointments, um, I mean the names that, what I handed you were names we need to consider at the January 9th meeting. And we actually can consider, we, I, I thought, you know, for a second, maybe we could really hustle and try to do these by tonight, but you have that one week window from when we receive them on the council meeting to when we can actually um, deliberate them. So um, the earliest, unless, I, I, I'm not sure how this works for the end of the term as well. Will this have to be carried into the new term? No, okay. still the same term. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because it's a two year term. Yeah. All right, then, um, Council Labarge's name is right here on four of these because she asked for these particular folks. And then that leaves another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven folks to speak with. Well, I would be glad to speak with Linda Moreland. OK. 
Okay, let me quickly put that down. Linda Morley, the first name. Uh, Barbara Blumenthal, for Historic Commission. Hold on one second. Where, where's Barbara? Okay. Mm -hmm. And also Historic Commission Martha Lyon. Which one? Martha Lyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for the ZBA, David Bloomberg. Okay. Uh, I will. So what do we have left? That's it. Nope. We still need uh, Mark to James. We all know Mark. I don't know Mark. Do you know Mark? Who am I thinking of? Are you thinking of Mark Carvey? No. Um, her husband's an attorney. He, yeah, he, Mark is an attorney. Yeah. And we know it's Julie one. Kling's husband. Julie Kling, right. Oh. You know Julie Kling. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but I could, I could call him, certainly, and get to know him. If you saw him, you'd know him. He's okay. Many functions. So I'll, I'll take Julie Klein. I know you know her. Mark. And um, Dylan Gaffney. Which one? Dylan Gaffney. And then we'll ask, um, oh, actually, let's give Councillor, I'll give Councillor O'Donnell, um, Dylan Gaffney, O'Donnell, and he can talk to Sarah Norman. I thought you were Dylan Gaffney. I'm going to give him to Councillor uh, O'Donnell so that, okay. so that he can talk to a couple of folks. So who are you doing on the Historical Commission? Mark DeJane. Oh no, I'm doing on the Council of Aging, Mark DeJane. Okay, let me write that down. Okay. Yes. Dennis Bidwell is doing Barbara. Okay. And Mark. And I'm doing Bruce Kravinsky from Ice Pond and David Drake, correct? Yeah. Okay. All covered. And so I will send, uh, I'll uh, update the sheet here and send it back out. Right. And then that we'll just deal with these at our January 19th. Mm -hmm. Is there any other? Um, so our next meeting is January 9th, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Then is there any other new business? Um, I, I, just back to talking sure. about uh, how we go about our conversations in the, in the new year. Um, rather than just go back and start all over again, how about if we just at our general meeting talk a little bit, just among the four of us about, you know, are, do, do we want to think in terms of, you know, we talked some last time about, are there certain issues that we would kind of want to focus on where occasionally there might even be two different departments coming. But maybe we just talk a little bit about what our, what our approach might be. Mm -hmm. um, to our departmental presentations. Yes, yeah. I mean, we, we could, of course, just start all over. And, mm -hmm. But maybe we should talk about it first sure. before just automatically doing that. That's fine. I like it. Yeah, I also think that we missed a few. The right. Parks and Rec Department didn't come. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, there may have been one or two more. Yeah, so we, we go back and look at the list of what we missed, take that into consideration, and then come to the plan. Sure. That's, that's a good idea. I think also we can go, once we've done all of the departments, we can go out of the scope and invite agencies also, if you read that. Mm -hmm. Then shall we uh, talk about how we want to uh, move forward with, with uh, departmental presentations and do appointments at the yeah. general. Yeah.
Bless you. Sounds just strong. Then, um, any other new business? Any motion? I would propose a motion that we adjourn. Oh, uh, okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Here you. Here we go. Very good.